Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Quick Fix. Quick Fix today is all about the ball that goes left, the pull, the pull hook and the hook. Why do they go left and how can you fix that quickly? See you soon. Hello. If your problem is the golf ball seems to be always disappearing to the left, whether it's a pull, a pull hook or a hook, um, then I hope to have the solution for you today. The solution is obviously based on the exercises and the drills that we do every day anyway, and based on the idea and the principle that really there's only two things that you've got to be able to do, and then you can fix everything. So let me explain to you a little bit about why the golf ball's going left in the first place. It's really quite simple. The club face is pointing left of the target. Um, if the club face is pointing left of the target, the golf ball's gonna go to the left. It can, however, develop a hook, a ball that moves from the right to the left. And again, we're talking from a right-handed golfer's point of view, obviously. If your path, that means the direction that the club head is moving, is right of the direction that the club face is pointing. So I could theoretically be making a shocking golf swing which is swinging out to the right and have the club face pointing straight and the ball will start to the right and land left of target. So obviously everything we're doing in the golf swing is about trying to get the club on a neutral path. And this neutral path, to a greater extent, will be decided about your ability when you change direction to actually go into this small kind of sitting feeling. By doing that and doing that at the right time, really, as you take the club back, your chest rotation will stop when the hands are still at around about chest height. And if they're still moving up and you start to move in the opposite direction, you're going to apply forces to the golf club which will push it behind you. It will flatten out and it will stop it getting steep. And that, to a greater extent, is going to stop you swinging the golf club to the left of target, which is what we're calling a pull shot. A ball that's being pulled to the left of the target for the right-handed golfer. When I get to, to chest height, I am changing direction by going into the sitting position. And I'm just letting my arms do what they want. The club obviously has inertia and is trying to pull my hands up. My body is moving in the opposite direction, so I'm almost catching the hands. And this extra energy which is being transferred to the golf club will actually cause it to drop and to pull, fall backwards, taking it behind your body a bit more. Then I'm obviously then down on the bar stool and I'm pressing off and pulling around. And this is going to give me this nice neutral club head path through the golf ball. Unfortunately, a lot of times though, despite doing the move, people are still hitting the golf ball left. And there's really one simple antidote to that. Get these hips turned. If you don't turn the hips enough, the club will overtake and it's losing lag tension, which is causing the golf ball to go left. In an awful lot of cases, if you see the golf ball go to the left, your logic will tell you, you turn too much to the left, and therefore you will stop even more, it will go even more to the left. A lot of you, unfortunately, have learned to try to tilt and run the club out to the right, this is going to give you no alternative but to roll your hands. The club face will be closed. It's going to the left. So in both cases, we need to get these hips turned. Again, the move is a major part of turning your hips. Once you actually start the downswing, this slight kind of squatting, sitting action is also used to get the left hip, which is over your left foot, in front of your left foot even, back behind it. Only by doing that is the left leg in a position to be able to complete the rotation and push it back out of the way. If you leave your left hip here and just squat, leaving your hip there, then pressing off from your legs will just give you this, what a lot of guys call the early extension. It will drop you, tilt your spine angle, and you've got an even, even more hook than you had before. So getting basically the hip back at the beginning of the transition, beginning of the downswing, is imperative. Then it's all about getting equal and opposite forces working from your legs on your hips. 
get that left hip back, get that right hip forward using your legs and that will carry your upper body arms and hands forward. The further that you can rotate, the longer you will have inertia on the golf club and the later that the club face will be able to close. Doing these exercises that I showed you in the last video will help you to do this. If you complete the exercises again and again on a daily basis, you're going to find you're able to turn further and quicker. You're going to be able to create more lag tension on the golf club and therefore the club face is not going to be able to close until after you've hit the golf ball. That feeling of getting the club around and pulling it, keeping pressure on the golf club is all about keeping the club face square and then the left shot is a problem from yesterday. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'm going to leave my uh, philosophy on golf up here in the left hand corner. You can download that if you want some bedtime reading. Don't forget the little notification bell. I think I forgot that one. If you want to get notifications uh, the next time that I post a video and otherwise we'll see you all very shortly. All the best for now. Bye bye.